Hello, Goblock Gaming here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use AMD VCE, or the AMD Video Codec Engine, as the default codec for DX Story for recording video games. Now the benefit of this is it's a very similar effect to the NVIDIA Shadowplay technology, which if you don't know what it is, it will allow you to record at considerably better frame rates, less drops, and it will allow for smaller files to come out the other end as they're compressed by the graphics card while, it, while the actual game is being played. Now, because it's actually compressed by the graphics card, there is actually hardware that you need for this, and it's got to be an AMD GCN series card, which means that you've got to have either an AMD 7770 upwards, uh, that's the HD series of graphics cards, so that's 7770, 7790, 7850, 7870, etc., etc., or you need an R9 series graphics card, so the R9 270, the R9 280, the R9 290, or the 290X, or the 280X as well, I forgot that one. But... If you have those, what we're also going to need is, because it's not included with the AMD drivers, is we're going to need an encoding pack called the Open Encode VFW, which somebody has open source made for us. And what we need to do is we need to click on this link here. I've included these links in the description. Um, and it is their, their actually compiled version of the codec. So we'll go ahead and click it. Yep, choose to download it. Wait for the download to complete and then open up the download once it's done, and it's an archive, so you'll, you'll have to deal with that. Um, and then you simply highlight all of it, extract it all, I'm going to extract it to C, open and code, and wait for that to happen, it's relatively quick, it's quite a small file, and then navigate to open and code, or wherever you extract it to, and then right click on install.bat, run as many and then you will see that these files have been copied over. If that doesn't happen for you, then what m you might need to do is you might need to open command prompt, uh, navigate with the cd command to the directory where you've extracted it to, and run install.bat through command prompt, and then it will probably work. If it doesn't, leave a comment and I'll try and help you. Okay, so once you've done that, push any key to continue. Yep, and now you're going to want to boot up dxtory. Give it a second to come up. Okay, so we've got DX Story, which you're probably familiar with if you're watching this tutorial. If you're not familiar with DX Story, it's a video capture program which is available from their own websites like dxstory.com or something. I'll include it in the description. Uh, there is a trial version for free, but it does actually cost money to use indefinitely, and I think there's a watermark on it if you don't pay for it. But either way, moving on we're going to go straight to the video encoding settings and this is what it will look like from the get-go. You'll have the DxStory video codec and all of these settings preset. But we don't want these because these settings are not are not going to use the AMD video codec engine and as such we'll use the CPU and result in frame rate hit and big files and it won't be it won't be much good. So what we've got to do is we've got to hit the drop down button move on down to open encode VFW codec. If it's not there, you might want to reboot your computer, see if it comes up, and if not, leave a comment. And then we're going to click on it, and then we're going to hit the configuration button, which will bring up something like this. And I've already set mine, but this is going to be for you. Uh, you want to leave it on mode 4 VBR, which means variable bit rate, which means that it will save some space, it will save some file size when there's less happening on the screen. Or rather, or rather, it will dynamically adapt to what's happening on the screen and compress accordingly. If you have a problem with variable bitrate and would much prefer to just set a constant bitrate, you can use the CBR mode, which will work very similarly. Now, we want to set the variable bitrate's target bitrate to something like 25,000. You can set it lower, but it will result in grainy of footage. If you if you're going at a lower frame rate. The, you, you can reduce it without having as much effect, or if you're having lower resolution, you can reduce it without much effect. Similarly, higher frame rates and higher resolutions, you'll want to go higher in the variable bitrate field because it will allow for better quality footage in the end. We also want for Quebec to be ticked, and we want the profile to be mainline. You can set it to high, but that might, that might end up affecting your performance in game. Then we're going to hit OK. And then from here, it's just all of your standard settings. If your computer is more than capable of handling at 60 FPS, 
you can set the frame rate you're recording at 60 FPS. However, if it does drop occasionally, you will suffer experience you will suffer relatively extreme frame rate drops if you try and set your recording frame rate above the actual frame rate the game plays at. So I'm going to set mine to 30 because I'm going to be playing Titanfall and Titanfall runs at 60 frames per second on my system. And that's about it. You hit F9 when you record and when you're done you stop recording and you watch back the footage. Now you might have problems trying to put this into video editing software. I found it difficult to make Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere actually accept the files that it produces. But the vast majority of video converters and video players will actually take it. So you can convert it to MP4 or another format which is more compatible with these pieces of software. The reason it doesn't accept it is because it's MP4 in an AVI container which for some reason it doesn't like. And apparently it's not very good for editing from what I've gathered from the internet, but it doesn't really matter because now that you've set this all up, you can go and record your games and it will be considerably less frame rate hit than if you weren't using these settings. Thanks for watching and see you later. Neutralizing enemy control of hardpoint. Stand by. We got Bravo. 